Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we are going to be uploading to an ATmega 328p chip. Let's get into it. So here's what we'll need to burn a bootloader and upload code to the ATmega 328 chip. We'll need an Arduino, I'm using the Arduino Nano, and a cord to connect to the computer to the Arduino. You'll need a computer with the Arduino IDE software installed. You'll, you might need a 16 megahertz crystal with two 22 picofarad capacitors on it. There'll be more on that later in the video. You'll also need a 110K resistor. You might need some jumper pins to connect your Arduino to your chip. And then you'll need the ATmega 328P chip itself. So when experimenting with the surface mount version, something really useful I found is this clamshell adapter. So you put your surface mount part in here, and then you close the lid. Those pins connect to these through hole pins at the back so you can wire this up to a breadboard or something. Very useful. You can also design a PCB like this. This is the chip I soldered on in a previous video on how to do surface mount soldering. And speaking of PCBs, check out this video sponsor, PCBWay. Makes custom PCBs for your projects. Design and upload your GURB files to the website, then place your order and wait a few days for your PCBs to come. And that's not all they do. PCBWay also does CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Check out their website. There'll be a link to that in the description down below. And if you're looking to make your own PCBs, I would really recommend using PCBWay. I look forward to using them again in the future. All right, so now I'll just plug in my Arduino Nano to the computer here, and let's get uh, programming. All right, so we have our Arduino Nano connected to the computer, and now what we're going to do is we're going to upload the Arduino ISP sketch. That makes the Arduino an ISP device capable of burning bootloaders and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is go File, Examples, and then down here to 11 Arduino ISP. We'll open that up. And here we go. So now what we can do is upload this to our Arduino Nano, and then we'll wire your Nano to the chip we want to burn the bootloader on. All right, so here's our wiring diagram. So on the Arduino, D13 goes to pin 17 on the chip. D12 goes to pin 16. D11 goes to pin 15. D10 goes to pin 29, which is also the reset pin. There's also a 10K resistor here that's connected to 5 volts and reset. And the 5 volts, that's connected to pins 4, 6, and 18 on the chip. And the ground of the Arduino goes to pins 3, 5, and 21 on the chip. All right, so now we have our Arduino Nano wired up to the chip we want to program. Now what we can do is we have to search Minicore in the Boris Managers. And we have nothing. So we have to go File, Preferences, and add an additional Board Managers URL. There we go. That's good. If there's already one here, what you can do is just hit this button over here, and then just hit Enter, and then paste another link in. And then we also want to uh, click Show Verbruce output during upload. That way it'll just show us if the upload went successful or not. So, okay, that's good. And now, mini core pops up right here. We'll install this. All right, so now we have mini core installed. Good, and now if we go over tools, board, and then you can see there's a new section called mini core, and that has all the 18 mega products. That's good. All right, so now we have the mini core installed. Now what we can do is we can begin burning our bootloader. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go mini core, 18 mega 328. We'll click on that. And then here, we're, we'll wanna keep the port that our Arduino Nano is connected to here. That's COM5 for me. And then here's, this is where we can set all our different uh, chip settings. So for example, if we want to change the baud rate, brown detection, bootloader, clock, EEPROM, compiler, LTO, and also the variant, like mine is a 
a 328p so we can leave that 328p there and I'd also like to burn this with the internal 8 megahertz clock. Typically how you use this chip is you have an external 16 megahertz crystal with two 22 picofarads on either side of the crystal go, that goes to ground. That's a common way of doing this. I'd, I want to use the internal 8 megahertz clock for this, so I'll select that. And everything looks good. Next thing is to select the programmer, and that's Arduino as ISP. So, if you see one that says Arduino ISP, that's not the right one. It's Arduino as ISP. So we'll go there. And then everything looks good. So we'll hit burn bootloader. And we have a error here. So if you had brand new chips, this would probably work the first time you'd burn your bootloader. So the most probable cause of this code is that somebody had already burnt a 16 megahertz bootloader onto this and then we're trying to reburn our 8 megahertz bootloader but in order for the chip to properly run it needs a 16 megahertz external clock so we'll connect a 16 megahertz external crystal on the clock pins of our chip and then we'll try again right so let's try adding a 16 megahertz external crystal so pin 7 and 8 are the clock pins on the chip here so that will go to a 16 megahertz crystal and then also there's a two 22 picofarad capacitors one, that one side is connected to the crystal one side is connected to one pin of the crystal other side is connected to ground so what we'll add those and we'll see if we can reburn the bootloader all right we have that connected now let's try again burn bootloader Perfect, very good. So now we have uh, burnt, successfully burnt an eight megahertz internal clock bootloader, that's great. So we can just remove our crystal now and the board should run just fine. All right, so now we will try uploading code with the Arduino itself. So uploading code with the Arduino Nano is actually gonna erase the bootloader that we just put on there. If you want to keep the bootloader, You'd have to use the actual ISP programmer, but this works if you don't need the bootloader. So you go file. I'll just open my sketch that I want to upload. In this case, it's the blink sketch. And what we'll do is we want to make sure all our settings are the exact same as you burnt the bootloader. Again, it's Arduino as ISP. And then what we'll do is we'll go upload using programmer. And perfect, that's uploaded. All right, so after programming this chip, now we can see if it works. So we'll turn on the power supply and... Perfect, and it's running the blink sketch, no problem. There's no external crystal or anything. It's all the internal eight megahertz clock, which is good. That's good, very good. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That'd really help my channel, and I'll see you next time.